Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good morning, raw water. In Dakar, someone mentioned Dakar at World War Day. Early in the morning, we were waiting for the bus, and we were singing, "Oh, happy day, groundwater day." Today is also happy day. This is my religion. Uh, the other happy day, and because we have a first ever global groundwater summit, and we are very happy, and uh, we want to share that with you. We will start with a short introduction of the uh, summit. Uh, first, I will say something about context, and then Alicia will introduce a program. Okay? Yes. Okay. Imagine that there is no rain, no rivers and lakes, no seas and oceans. And now imagine there is no groundwater. Groundwater. It's so difficult to visualize something which is not visible and something so precious as groundwater. Almost half of the population drinks groundwater every day. We wouldn't be able to grow our crops and make so many other products without groundwater. Groundwater sustains vegetation, maintains base flow of rivers, and has so many other important functions. And the world is changing because water availability is reducing and uh, due to climate change and what we do on this planet and uh, uh, reliance and pressure of ground, on groundwater is increasing. Uh, yet, uh, we still don't know sufficient about the state of uh, water res groundwater resources and we keep polluting and overpumping uh, our aquifers. So groundwater uh, maybe can be out of sight, but can't be out of mind. That's the reason that we started all together with a lot of partners all over the world uh, campaign groundwater making invisible visible. And uh, so far it was great campaign with the World Water Day, and World Water Development Report, and so many other events and activities all over the, the world. And now the summit, and Alice. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, it has been said already, uh, this is a real uh, culminating uh, event uh, of uh, the, the work that the UN Water colleagues uh, and partners uh, have, uh, have the, executed, developed, uh, worked with uh, all, the, all the year. And, um, and definitely, please, and definitely um, it, it is also uh, one of the preparatory events so we shouldn't forget. We have an important appointment next year. This is one of the preparatory events uh, of the UN 2023 Water Conference in New York in March, 22nd, 24th, March next year. And uh, it's a thematic uh, topic that we are uh, considering. And UN Water decided to, to look at this uh, topic because, because of, uh, it is invisible and there is not enough attention to it. Um, the, the program um, is, is based uh, on the consideration of the SDG 6 uh, Global Acceleration Framework. So this day, the first day of, uh, of the summit, we will look in the different session at how groundwater, if sustainable, managed and governed, could really contribute to the achievement of the SDG 6. 
As you know, there are five accelerators, uh, innovation, uh, data, capacity development, finance, and governance. So we will look uh, with the colleagues of uh, the UN that we would like very much to thank. Many of the colleagues of the other agencies have worked with UNESCO for the preparation of the summit and for the sessions. So they are with us and they will be with us today and, and tomorrow. Um, the next uh, tomorrow, the next uh, day program tomorrow will be more thematic and we will have a report of the regional dialogues that are the preparatory dialogues for the conference next year. And uh, we will have a session on a crucial issue related groundwater, that is transboundary aquifers, something even more invisible than the invisible because many of us don't want to see this. Um, then we will have for the first time a session uh, organized by the Youth Groundwater Forum that has been uh, established this year in, uh, in, in the consideration of the importance of having the new generation of experts uh, ready to go ahead uh, in, uh, in a better manager of uh, groundwater resources. Um, what I would like to say is that uh, before to leave uh, tomorrow evening, uh, we will listen to the UN Water Joint message. The task force of, uh, of the UN Water has uh, prepared a joint message and uh, this uh, uh, is collecting some of, of the message of the UN and several partners to governments, to the international uh, scientific uh, community, to the donor community, and in particular looking at commitments, uh, voluntary commitments on groundwater at uh, the water agenda next year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much uh, to the two...